What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. We are here today playing with Reshiram, a Pokemon that we haven't used for Series 10, and looking to get some wins with it. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you everybody who supports me as a content creator. But before we get into the team preview here, I want to give a huge shout out to my boy Clever Bells for leaving this team in my Instagram DM. Seriously, Clever Bells, thank you so much. I will leave a link to his channel down in the description below. So if you guys want to go check out his Pokemon YouTube channel, it is down in the description below. But getting started, with this team top left corner we have Regiram over here turbo blaze ability and that life orb as item life orb is a perfect item for this pokemon absolutely makes it hit harder and it's going to be able to do more damage and take out more pokemon we got blue flare and draco meteor both for our stab moves earth power for coverage and protect as our final move right next to him one of my favorite Pokemon to use on the rank ladder. That is going to be Screens Grimstarl with the Light Play. Love it so much. I don't know why. Ever since I started playing VGC double battles for uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield, every time I use this Pokemon, I always have good battles, and I just really like using it. It's Prankster ability, Light Clay item, Spirit Break, Sucker Punch, Light Screen, and Reflect that's moveset. It's just normal. It is a typical Screens Grimstarl, but it works so well. Middle left, we got Celesteel, one of the better Ultra Beasts in my opinion, considering it can stall out endgame and really win you guys a lot of matches. It has Beast Boost ability, Leftovers as item, Heavy Slam, Leech Seed, Wide Guard, and Protect. I feel like this Pokemon is perfect for this series because you, it has Wide Guard on it, on it, so it protects from double hitting moves such as uh, Water Spout, Origin Pulse, or Precipice Blaze coming from Groudon or Kyogre. Middle right over here, we have Rillaboom. Again, one of the best Pokemon for this series. Nothing bad I could say about this guy right here. We got the Grassy Surge ability, the Assault Vest, and then we got Grassy Glide, Bake Out, Knock Off, and U-Turn for his pivot move. Bottom left corner over here is Regilecki. Regilecki is an absolute beast. It has speed control. It can hit like a truck as well. It's got transistor ability, magnet as its item, and then we got Thunderbolt, E-Web for speed control, Volt switch to pivot, and protect. One thing Clover Bells was actually telling me about this Regilecki right here was it's not your typical speed Regilecki. It's actually a bit bulkier, so it can actually survive a Grass Glide and a Wicked Blow from Earth So that's good to know. So maybe we can use that to our advantage in these battles today. Final Pokemon on this team is going to be Suicune, a great Tailwind Pokemon in my opinion. It is very bulky, very, very bulky, so if you can get them out there when your opponent doesn't have Rillaboom, it can really do work and bring your team to victory. We got Inner Focus, so it can't be flinched to Fake Outs, Safety Goggles as the item, and then we got Tailwind, Scald, Ice Beam, and Roar. Guys, you want to try this team for yourself? Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that Rank Double Ladder and look to get some wins with this Reshiram team. Yo, look at this guy over here. He's using a Kyogre team, but he's having fun with it. Love to see it right here. He has Reggie Draco, Cantonian Zapdos, Kyogre, obviously, like I said. But then he has Buzzswole, an Ultra Beast you never see. I definitely got to get my hands on a Buzzswole team. That would be awesome. I would absolutely love it. And then he has Moltres and Latios for the Tailwind. Speaking of teams or rental codes, if you guys want to send me rental codes, leave them in my Instagram DMs. Link is down in the description below, and the name is right below my face cam. I love getting back to you guys, and I love seeing the rental teams you guys have to send me. But uh, we're rocking out here. Who should I go into? I'm thinking of leading potentially Suicune. Like Suicune could be pretty solid here. Hmm, I can go Regilecki too. I definitely want Rillaboom on the squad, and I want to bring Grimstarl. I'm going to go Suicune and Grimstarl. Just get screen set up, kind of roll off from there. Is that who I want to go into? Definitely Grimstarl. Uh, definitely Suicune, right? Try to get that Tailwind roll, and then we could just go Regiram and Rillaboom. I feel like we can work out really, really well with this team. Right? I am really digging that. Let's rock out with it. Let's get after it. Let's try to grab ourselves a win in battle number one. But if you guys can tell, my throat's a little raspy. It's a little dry. I woke up with a really sore throat. I kind of felt it the other night. Like, I, like, you guys know, when you're about to get sick, you feel it the night before. Like, I felt that. I'm like, dude, I'm going to wake up with a sore throat. I woke up, and I was like... So dehydrated, I was like, yo, what is going on? I drink a lot of water daily. And it, it was just like, dude, my throat is killing me right now. Like, I wasn't even going to record today, but I was just like, yo, Gene's online game community needs some content. So your boy got out of his bed, and he's bringing you guys this content here. But he's going to lead the Latios and the Reggie Draco, which I'm cool with. I'm cool with all day. I could just get after it this way. I'm probably going to drop a light screen. I think light screen is going to be the play here all day. And then I think I'm just going to set up a tailwind. And yo, with the music I picked, the Tower of Waters, baby, when you're getting Urshfu. Love it so much, yo. It's just a jam. This is a jam, yo. Dun, 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 dun. Tailwind's gonna set up from him. Tailwind's gonna set up from me. So we're just gonna cancel out with Tailwind's, and we are gonna get off a nice little light screen here. Dragon energy is popping. It's not gonna affect my Grimmy Poo. It's not gonna affect my Grimmy Poo, but Suicune's gonna say, yo, dude, that's a tasty snack you got there. Super, super tasty snack. Yeah, that's lovely. Tailwind's gonna pop out here. Imagine Draco is gonna be, probably be fastest, right? 
I could sucker punch now. Do I risk the sucker punch? I think I just go into a spear break here. And then I double down into him. I am going to double down into the Reggie Draco. Because if I can get rid of that, that's going to be big for us. Because he poses a pretty big threat. Really don't like that Pokemon one bit. <laughs> I do have Roar. I do have Roar, but Roar's going to work well with, like, say, like, Geomance, uh, Exerniuses, or Pokemon that's trying to set up. We can really just get him out of the battle and kind of roll from there. Psychic is going to pop over here, and so we can, like I said, should be able to eat that one up. And, of course, he gets a drop on me. The special defense drop comes out here, and I think he's going to be able to pick up a KO with the Dragon Energy. Yeah. The Dragon Energy is going to be able to pick up KO onto Suicune. I'm cool with that. Spirit Break is going to come through, be able to do a decent amount of damage, and I am going to be able to bring out my next Pokemon. The Suicune drops... I think I just throw out Rush Ram here. Rush Ram could be big. We're breaking you know, fly through here. And it's gonna bring that thing down to yellow. So we can't use Dragon Energy. Is he choice or anything? You get the special attack drop as well. I could go in the Rush Ram here. I could, but I think Robo might be play. I don't know. What do I want to do here? Let's go Robo Boom. Let's get Robo Boom. We do have the Soul Fest on Robo Boom. <clears throat> We're going to bring out the Boom here. Um, I could fake out. Don't I have fake out on this thing? I could just fake out the Latios and kind of just roll for a spear break. I think that's going to be your play. Let's fake out this Latios. Let's give him the little chip skis here. And then the spear break and take you out. The spear break there and then just the fake out coming across this way. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. Let's see how this one plays out. We still have knockoff. We can take off items. We can do a decent amount of damage on the Latios with that as well. And then we have Grassy Guy, which is really, really important for us. So he is going to withdraw the Veggie Draco, which I'm totally cool with. And Zapdos is going to fly out here. Hopefully it's special attacking Zapdos. Not physical, because we are going to get a special attack drop onto it. Right near with the Spirit Break. Nice little fake out. Doing nice little chip damage, yo. Sometimes fake out is like an absurd amount of damage for fake out. Like right there did a decent amount of damage. We like chipped them up a nice little chunk. And I, I, was, I was happy for that one. I was real happy for that one. But we are going to go into a Sucker Punch here. And he's probably going to go into a Flying Move. So I could... could do a Hard Swap. Hmm. But you turn Pivot. And I do have that Assault Fest. I'm hoping he's Special Attacking. I really am help hoping he is Special Attacking. Might double down into him. What does Jeans want to do here? I'm going to double down into the Latios slot. Let's see how he plays this one. I'm hoping he has special attacking. He's going to withdraw. Oh, you son of a biscuit, man. Sucker Punch isn't going to work, but we are going to be able to take off item for Kyogre. Which could be big. Which could be big. And then we could glide. We could glide next turn. I should have probably set up a Reflect. Okay, yo, I'm with that turn all day. I'm with that turn all day. He's going to roost up. I'm going to set up a Reflect here. We have Light Screen. I should set up a Reflect. Just in case this bird's physical. I don't know what he is. I'm going to take off his Choice Scarf. That's big. Take off this thing's Choice Scarf. God, I love it. The Choice Scarf is gone. Tailwind Peter's out from both sides. Um, we still have our Light Screen for how many turns? I'm with it, yo. Four turns. That's why you got to absolutely love this thing. And then I think we set up a Reflect just in case. Just in case. I think he's going to protect, right? He's got to protect. Do I not play these games? I don't play these games. He is going to protect, but I, I don't play these games. Just in case, we're, we're going to double down, or uh, we're going to grass guy down onto the Kyogre slot, just in case he doesn't protect, because I, if I make the wrong call there, we lose. He withdraws his Zapdos, and what's he going to do with this uh, this Kyogre here? He withdraws, he's going to go back into the Reggie Draco here, and he's going to withdraw the Kyogre. I'm cool with it all day. He's going to swap into Hoom. Hoom's coming out here, it's going to be that Latio. So we know all four of his Pokemon. Grass guy is going to fly through here, chipping nice damage, yo. Big old damage. Get a crit. Gotta love it. Get a nice little crit there. Reflect is going to set up. And I think we just pick up the kills here. I think we just grassy guide into the Reggie Draco. This should be able to take him out. And then uh, finish off that thing with a spirit break. Go here and then just grassy guide. Do we think grassy guide will be able to take out? Actually, we know grassy guide is going to be able to take out onto uh, the Latios. But I say we just go here. I say we just do this. I could U turn out. What did you turn out? I might do now. But then he might bring out the Kyogre at that point. How many turns left in our terrain? Actually, I'm fine with you turn out. I am going to U turn out here. Take him out because I think he's trying to waste out my terrain here. I'm going to withdraw the Veggie Draco and go into whom? He's going to go into Zapdos. Zippy Zapdos here. 
And we are going to give it another special attack drop. So again, I'm hoping it is a special attacking. So Tailwind is setting off from this guy. He is finally going to get off his Tailwind. And speed's going to be in his favor. He turns going to take him out. And I wonder who he's going to go into. I wonder who he's going to go into. But I have to go into my rest ram. And I got to waste out these uh, turns right here. So I can get my terrain back. You know, solid first battle here. Solid first battle. Let's go into our best ram here. We still have our soul vest, which is great. So if Kyogre does come out here, he does have his choice scarf. We know that we already knocked it off. I could start hitting it with the uh, uh, spirit breaks. And what that will do is minus the special attack, and that can be huge all around. Spirit break comes through on this slot. Again, I'm hoping this thing's special attacking. As if it is, dude, it's just huge. It's just huge with the light screen and the minus one special attack. You just gotta love it. You just gotta love it. He does have Tailwind set up. But we gotta we gotta see what he's gonna do. We have to see what this Pokemon's gonna do. That does could roost up, which could be a problem for us. And he's gonna go back into the Reggie Draco, which no, dude, I'm totally cool with. I'm totally cool with. And that's why I just spirit break over on the U. And then I could just protect this turn. That's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna protect this turn. And we are gonna do spirit break onto the Reggie Draco, because we don't want him just dropping a huge dragon move on me. We know the power of that Pokemon. An absolute beast. Light screen is gonna set up from Zapdos. So Zapdos sitting here support. He's sitting here on support. It's pretty cool. Dragon Pulse can come out here. We're gonna block it. Grimstrong is gonna come up and pick up the KO. Get this dude out my game. Get him out my face. Yo, great battle, yo. Great battle so far. I wish he would have brought the Buzzsaw. Buzzsaw is such a cool Pokemon. I think I'm gonna use him once on channel. That might be it. But we wasted out our terrain turns, which is perfect. We still have Robin Moon in the back. We can set up the terrain whenever he comes in for the rest of the battle. He's gonna have to bring out his final Pokemon, which is gonna be the Kyrie right here. Um. As much as I want to protect, I really cannot. I cannot. I don't want to risk it. So, we have one more turn left in Light Screen. Uh, I think I'm just going to try to get a Spirit Break onto this thing. I might double down into him. Actually, I know my Real Boom can actually uh, take out the what's called 1v1. One 1v1, I know the Real Boom can win. I'm actually just going to go after you. We'll go after Zapdos here with the life orb, but Draco Meter should be able to take it out. Thunderbolt is gonna come out. He's probably double down in the. Ooh, now he's going after Grimstarl. Like it a lot. And Origin Pulse is going to pop, yo. Soak up shots, baby. Eat up. We have Light Screen out. We should be fine here, right? Everyone should be chilling. Beautiful. Gotta love that turn. Gotta love it. Draco Meter is gonna fly. Hopefully, it takes out that uh, Zapdos with his life orb. I think it should. Our Shrams are pretty hard hitting Pokemon. Yep, Draco Meteor never fails. It never fails, man, dude. So good. Whenever that thing hits, it does a massive amount of damage. But again, you, that's the risk you're taking. You're taking big damage for the minus two special attack job. But yo, I'm totally fine with that. It's in the battle. We need a KO there, and that is exactly how you use that move. Spirit Break's gonna be able to come out there, drop that thing special attack, and that's gonna be GG's for us. Our late screen is gonna fall, so I am gonna set it back up. Oh, but his rain's gone. Oh, but his rain's gone, dude. That's GG's. He better just cancel the battle from here. I'm just going to play it safe. I'm going to set up this light screen. And I am going to roll into yet another Draco Meteor to try to finish off this battle. I think it should still be able to do enough damage. But I think he's going to cancel it. There it is. Cancel battle. 1-0 to get this video started. We're seeing some cool teams today on the rank double ladder. We're going up against a Palkia team alongside with Reggie Gegas, Regilecki, Tornadus, Urshfu, and Indeedee. Love to see it. Love to see the Palkia and Reggie Gegas. Really cool Pokemon. Hopefully we can grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. But guys, I never asked you guys a question of the day. And that is, what type of EV evolution would you guys like to see next? For me, I would love to see a Steel type EV. I think that could be pretty, pretty dope. I think that could be awesome. So definitely let me know your guys' answers in the comment section down below. But we're getting started here. Um, hmm, who do I want to go into? I kind of want to get Palkia rolling in here because he does have a Tailwind. Or I could just go Regilecki and take Speed Control from there. I do like that. I do like the uh, Regilecki. So let's go Regilecki, Grimstar for setup screens. Registram in that back end for sure. And then I'm thinking maybe Celesteel can come out here. Celesteel could be a great Pokemon. I do want Robin though. We might not even need screens here. Now nah, we are going to set up screens. We're going to bring Celestial in as our final Pokemon. But like I said, this Regilecki is pretty bulkier. He can eat up a Easy Grassy Glide or a Urshifu Wicked Blow. So maybe we get to show that off here because he does have that uh, the Dark and Fighting Urshifu. It's a pretty cool Pokemon. But hey, we got our theme song on right now, the Tower of Water Hill. This is a jam. I got to start changing music more often just to hear the other ones, yo. I changed it today and I was just like, yo, this is a jam. A little Tower of Water action. 
I remember when I was doing the uh, Isle of Armor, I was streaming it, and I was like ready to go get Urshu, and then it was just like, oh, you need cub food level 75. I was like, what you mean? 75? That's super high for no reason whatsoever. But he leads a Regilecki as well as the Tornadus, and I'm just going to E-Web, and I'm just going to drop a nice little light screen here. Set up my light screen, start doing chip damage away on these Pokemon, and we'll see how we get rolling from here. I wonder what he's going to do. Maybe he'll protect the Pokemon, thinking my Grimstone has fake out on it, but no, nah, we just set up a screen. Now look at Regilek, he's bouncing, like, synchronized bouncing right there. They're doing the exact same motion, you know, like, plop, plop, plop. <laughs> Let's see what he does. Let's see his dude's play. We're not obviously going to tail one. Do that one. Knew that one. And Regilek, he's probably going for an E-Web. We're probably going E-Web for E-Webs here. His E-Web will cancel out our E-Web. I oh, know, he's just going to Volt Switch Pivot. I'm with that all night. Let's going to pop out here. We'll do a nice amount of damage. But not, not too much, considering we have the light screen up. And he's going to swap through a Pokemon. That's going to have to take an E-Web. Which we'd love to see. With the Magnet on it. Don't forget about the Magnet. It's going to be Palkia. I'm with it all day. So start slowing down this Pokemon. And then I could start hitting it with Spirit Breaks. We know it's special attacking. We could start getting the special attack drops on it. As soon as possible. E-Web getting hit. Yeet. Get some damage off on that Tornas. Beautiful. Love to see it. Love to see it. So we will be able to take out Tornas, but yet one more E-Web. So that's big. And then I'm just going to start Spirit Breaking onto that thing. Dude, I absolutely love this Grimmsnarl. He does have a berry, but again, another E-Web should easily take that out. I just love Grimmsnarl, dude. The screens are phenomenal. You just can't go wrong with it. You cannot go wrong with the screens. And then you have the guaranteed special attack drop. It's huge. It is huge. You might protect the Palkia, which I'm fine with. Then we still pose that threat onto the Tornadus. And he could go into... Hmm. He could attack my Regilecki with a nice spatial run. That could be really scary. Palkia is going to protect. Totally cool with that. I'm totally cool with that. Tornadus is going to go down here to this E-Web. going to come out from Tornadus. Doesn't affect me. Silly. Silly, dude. We're dark typing. I fall for that sometimes, too. So I can't really yell at this guy. <laughs> E-Web comes out here. Tornadus, get out my face. Get him out of here. All right, so we get rid of you. We saw Celestial in the back. And I kind of have a Celestial just to play slow game at the end if we need it. But we might not even need it here. I might be able to bring out Reshram after one of my Pokemon uh, dies be able to roll out here especially if we can waste out this tailwind it'd be really really good so the urshfu is flying out here and we know this regilecki can soak up that wicked blow that's my man clover bells was lying to me i think we should be fine oh it's actually the water one yo why don't i just go into another one of these why don't why don't i just do the same thing you give me no reason not to do the same thing here let's have a bit of speed in him surgeon strikes is gonna come through here i wonder if he can survive surgeon strikes this is going after my regilecki i probably should have set up a reflect and this one's gonna be close for Regilecki. I don't think he has it. No way. Nope, he cannot eat a certain strikes. He could eat a wicked blow, but not a certain strikes. Uh, can Grimstar get off a shot here? I should have set up a reflect here. Hydro Pump is going to pop. And you should be able to eat that up all day. Put that light screen up. Yep, we're able to eat that up. And I do definitely want to set up a uh, reflect before we do die out here. The Spirit Break comes out here and just dumps on the Falcon. Get out my face, dude. Get out my face. Beautiful. Love to see it. We love to see it. I'm actually going to bring out Celesteal and start setting up Leech Seeds here. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to start setting up my Leech Seeds. So we'll set up a Reflect here. We'll throw out a Leech Seed and we will get Wall from here. But I do have Left Edge. Just dandy. Just dandy, man. Just dandy. And their Tailwind will end very, very soon. So Reflect can come out here. I think he's just going to do E-Web and we are just going to Leech Seed over onto... Um, I could Wide Guard it. I'm going to leech seed over onto the Regilecki here. And just set up this Reflect. Reflect. Reflect, baby. Because if I do get off a leech seed here, that could be really, really big considering we have Protect and then we get Leftovers and leech seed HP. That's just an absurd amount. Volt Switch is going to come through here. It should be easy eats for your boy. Yep. The 92 and Certain Strikes is going to come through here. Go after my Grimstarl. Oh no, he was just using Volt Switch for... Okay, that works. He was just using Volt Switch for the uh, the damage output. So there's that. He has no other Pokemon to swap into. Leech Seed is going to pop through. We have our screen set up. We have our Leech Seed chilling here. Definitely got to protect my Pokemon here. And the Leech Seed is just going to chip away. It's just going to chip away. Look at this. We had our Leftovers HP, which is gorgeous. And then we say, hey, give me your health. We steal this dude's health. We say, hey, give me your health. Your health is mine now. The beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at that, dude. And then we just protect out. It's lovely. Let's bring out Ram here. And then, how should I play this one? 
How should Jeans play this one? Like I said, we have the Reflect. We have all this good stuff set up. I think we have to protect him. I could double protect. And then double down into him. I do have my level little Heavy Slam. Which ain't gonna do too much. But I definitely gotta protect my Celestial here. And then, do I drop an EP? Or do I drop like a Draco Meteor? Let me just Draco Meteor onto Earthfield. We gotta get off as much damage as we possibly can. Screens are up. So screens are definitely gonna help us out here. And I wonder what Regilac is going to do. He's going to go for a Volt Switch. He is going to read the Protect card. And that's going to be easy eats for Regiram. And then he is just going to go for a Shurgen Strikes, which should be easy eats for Regiram as well. We are Fire and Dragon, so that's going to reflect a lot of it. And then that Reflect is going to help us out tremendously. Gotta love it. Got to love it. So there's all this. And then Draco Meteor is going to fly. And I think Draco Meteor is going to do a good amount of damage. Unless this thing Sash, I think we might take it out. Let's see, with that life orb? Come on, Rashi. Come on, Rashi. Do some damage. Get that thing out of here. Get him out of my face. Big Draco Meteor coming in the clutch. The Reflect really is coming in clutch as well. And we have Leech Seed set up, and this match is pretty much over. This match is over with. It's over with all day. We got the Leech Seed. We got the leftovers. We can play this one super, super slow. Super, super slow. Give me all your health. Give me your health. Give me your health. Give me your health. <laughs> We're just soaking up. We're just soaking this dude. Look at the dude. Look at all the health we get, man. A lot of health. That's a lot of health. So at this point, we just drop a nice big gyro or a heavy slam. And we outweigh that thing like crazy. And then we just drop an EP. I could protect. But I really don't think there's a point of protecting here. Let's see what this guy does from here. He's going to go for that bolt switch over the Metroid. Wow, I actually could have protected easily. But we eat up all day. So that's GG's. That is G to the G's. EP's going to come out here. Wrap it up. Even though we're minus two, that should still be a KO. Yes, it does. And 2-0 and oh with this Resurant team. Cloverville sending me a fire team. Definitely check out his YouTube channel. Link is down in the description below. Let's keep it rolling, ladies and gentlemen. Battle number three. Looking for that perfect record for the Jeans Online Gamma Community, baby. Looking for it for you guys. Trying to get after it here. He has a Necrozma team. I should say Lunala Necrozma or it's Necrozma Dawn form, right? Or no, Necrozma Dusk form, right? Yeah, it's the, this one's the Dusk form. And then he has the Indeedee, the Rillaboom, the Urshfruit, Regilecki, and Talonflame to set up Tailwind with that Gale Wings. Okay, I'm with it. I'm with it. We actually already showed off every single Pokemon. Which is really, really cool. This seems very versatile, and I like it so, so much. Um, I could go into my Tailwind if he's going Tailwind. And Suicune can post that big threat on a good amount of these Pokemon. So I am going to lead that Suicune. Definitely want to bring Mesh Ram. Dude, Grimstar is just a beast. I think I might lead the Grimstar. I think I might lead the Grimstar again. Dude, the screens is just so good. It's just so good all around. Alongside with the special attack drop, it's just really, really strong. And we're going to bring the Grimstar. Mesh Ram is a must. It's an absolute must. And the final Pokemon, I think we got to bring the Rilly. Rill Boom's just so good. Especially if he has a roll boom, we're gonna bring our roll boom. I love having a soul vest on roll boom. It just makes him a bit bulkier. And then you get him in here, he can do massive amount of damage. And then if he has the soul vest, you can soak up a lot of damage as well. But hey, we already had ourselves a great battle for today's video. Or not battle, great battles for today's video. We're sitting at two and zero, oh, playing really, really well as of recently. We used a Mewtwo in our most recent video. We went one and two and played pretty solid with that team. So if you guys haven't checked out that video, definitely go check it out for yourselves. Drop a like on that. And hopefully you guys do enjoy that video as well. But uh, Suicune and Grimstar will come out from us. Regilecki and Necrozma are coming out from him. I'm cool with it. Light Screen is definitely a setup here. Light Screen is definitely a setup. The Tailwind. Tailwind and Light Screen. I'm with it. I'm with it all day. Let's try to get this Tailwind set up. Probably going to go for like a Volt Switch or maybe just an e Web just to slow us down. That Regilecki. I'm definitely scared of that Max like Thunderbolt. He's just gonna start targeting down my Suicune here. Suicune's gonna be able to eat up that shot, and he should be able to outspeed Necrozma, right? Just not. And Moon Guy's beam is gonna fly through here. Don't like that one bit. Go after my, go after my Grimstorm. Go after my Grimstorm, please, please. Nope, Suicune's dead. No Tailwind for us. No Tailwind for us. We made a bad call there. Definitely a bad call there. Definitely a bad call. He does show his life orb. Uh, we could bring out, could bring out Robin. Robo ain't too bad here. Let's do a fake out. I'm with it. I'm with the dang dude. I wish we could at least get off for Tailwind. That could have been huge, man. That could have been huge. So we are going to rock out with Robin here. I'm not even going to go for the fake out. I'm just going to go for a straight grass guide into that uh, Regilecki. And I think we go for a knockoff over onto the, what's it called? The Necrozma. I think that's got to be our play, right? Hopefully he doesn't have that bulky, uh... Hopefully he doesn't have that bulky Regilecki. Hopefully we can just dump on this thing. Maybe it's not Sash. That could be big for us. 
with this lovely little grass guy. Or maybe I should double down into it. Into the Necrozma. Reading a protect from the uh, Regilecki. But we'll see how this one plays out. We shall see how this one plays out. No, he does not protect grass guy. Take this thing out. Tell him to go home. Just get a free focus ash. This thing just get a free sash. Bro, the, the, what is this game? <laughs> These things live it on like 2 HP. Get out of my face. And he gets a paralyze. And he gets a paralyze there. Moon Guys Beam's gonna fly through here. Eat this up. Soak it up, baby. Yo, dude, he gets a paralyze as well. We do have the light screen, so I'm with it all day. Gonna hit up on my roll boom. Roll boom says, hey yo, that's tasty snack. And life for damage, let's take that out. That's wonderful. That's dandy. Um Let's see who he throws out. That could uh, determine our next move. Because I can Sucker Punch. Or I could just Grassy Glide. But I'd rather grass Grassy Glide on somebody with more HP. Because Grassy Glide will do way more damage than a Sucker Punch. I'd rather Sucker Punch over into Red Slack and just finish that thing off. But it really depends who his next Pokemon is. Because if he does throw out a Physical Attacker, I would love to get off a Reflect. But Light Screen just does work, man. Especially how many Special Attackers are like being used nowadays. Really, really like it. He's going to end up throwing out Earth Sweet. That's scary. It is water. It is water. He could protect it. And I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to Grass Glide in there and this Sucker Punch. My play, yo. We got a lot of first turn priorities here. And I'm going to do it. Watch. We're going to be paralyzed. It's going to ruin everything. It's going to ruin everything, man. Oh, yo. Real Boom is so good. Real Boom is so good. I remember when they first gave him his, his new ability. This works so well. He's going to end up protecting the Regilecki. We're going to see a Double Protect come out. This guy's gonna fly through here. This thing's not sad, she's dead. Dude, just these things living on one HP all day. <laughs> this thing has the sash. It's gonna be able to eat up. Sucker Punch can come out here, it's gonna fail, and he is gonna be able to drop a surge of strikes into Grimstarl. Into Grimmy Grim. And Grimstarl is dead. We don't have a reflex though. Critical hit. 72 down to 32, and then this one's gonna come out. And that's gonna take me out. Okay. So we're sitting here, we have two Pokemon on one HP rough news that is rough for us that's real rough we do have first turn priority rocking with our grass god um who's posing a bigger threat here i feel like i feel like the earth food is earth food could protect here we do have the lovely little reggie we have the lovely little reggie so who's this final pokemon i'm trying to think let me look at this list let me look at the list of pokemon i think of his final pokemon because i want to go into the right move just in case he swaps like the reds left there's something so oh, his final his final Pokemon's gotta be Real Boom, right? It's gotta be Real Boom. Looking at this, it's gotta be Real Boom. Because he would have led the Talon Flame if that was the case. So I have to keep my what's called alive. I have to keep my Regiment Regiment alive. So I am gonna Grace Guide over into you. I am just going to drop a blue flare over into Regilecki, just in case he swapped. Because dude, it has to be Real Boom, right? There's a swap. And Blue Flare's coming out here. Show me the Real Boom. Yo, get him out of here. Yo, get him out of here. Yo, jeans with the reeds. Jeans with the reeds. Good thing I checked that. We're going to be able to take him out with that. And Blue Flare should be able to just body this thing. Should just be able to take him out of the planet. Get this thing out of here. Blue Flare coming out of here, baby. Woo! Look at that move. Get him out of my face, dude. Yo, that was a great read. We checked the team. Thought about what his final Pokemon could have been. And then we were just like, yo, let's go into a Blue Flare. Just in case he swaps. Just in case he swaps. Because I could have went into an Earth Power. That could have been my, my play. But I was just like, maybe he thinks I have Earth Power. But we take that thing out easily. He's going to have to throw out uh, Regilecki here as his final Pokemon. And that's going to be GG's for us. Perfect record rocking out for this Clover Bells team, dude. Absolutely shred it today. Shred it today. No problem. Just dominate it. And we got to show off this Pokemon like crazy. This Regiram, we used him in all three battles. And he was just doing mass amount of damage with Draco Meteors and Blue Flares. Hello for Bells. Thank you so much for dropping the absolute banger of a team today. We got to show this team off to its fullest potential and grab ourselves a 3-0 record with it. Also, guys, just want to give you guys a little heads up. If you guys do watch my Pokemon Unite content, Mammo Swine is about to be released into Pokemon Unite. It's probably going to be the next video after this one is released. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that one and show some support on the new Mammo Swine Pokemon Unite video. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread the positivity day and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody